So I am literally in a state of panic here. I'm, I've made a few phone calls uh, to a couple doctors. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a crisis situation here, and and it's dicey. If I could get, if I could, uh, if I could take a cab to emerge right now and get help, I would, but I know they can't help me there. So I'm trying to get an emergency ser uh, referral tomorrow. Uh, uh, anyways, I want to tell you what's happening here. Um, I have Chiari, diagnosed Chiari malformation, a brain condition, where my, my brain is being pushed down into my spine. I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, Chiari malformation is actually a symptom or a comorbid of uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, um, unless it's acquired Chiari. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is the main disease that most Chiari's, I think, are derived from. So Chiari malformation is literally a symptom or one hernia from uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, weakened connective tissue, which is interesting because most people don't know that about Chiari malformation. Anyways, because uh, a lot of people with Chiari malformation still have have undiagnosed apnea or no so sorry undiagnosed Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome not all people with Chiari will have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome but a lot of them are un have undiagnosed uh, EDS anyways what I wanted to say I'm in an absolute panic here but I wanted to to say this that my health has has been declining for decades and it's been I, i've been running a marathon for for decades not sleeping and not understanding why and um i've, I've traced some of it so this might be this might be the life and death solution for me it it might not be. It might. It might just par be part of it. Um. So trace some of the. Uh, it took decades to put this together. It took decades to figure this out, and had I not become unmedicated, had I, I, I don't think for a second had I not gotten off the psych medications that I was on, I don't think I ever would have figured this out. I would have, I would have been gone already. Um, so when I was 25 years old, I got braces put on my teeth. It, it's literally taken me until now to, for me to figure this out. When I was 25 years old, I got braces put on my teeth. They removed nine teeth to put the braces on, moved, uh, made the jaw smaller. When I was 15 years old, I started noticing that when I was in bed, I was always sleeping like with my hand gently under my skull like this, right? And here, and, and, and this is important because I've mentioned this out loud in some EDS groups or Chiari groups and everybody should be aware of this. If you're seeing your children or your your spouse or you know your elderly parent or anybody if you're con if you catch them sleeping or whatever and they're always like this with one or two hands under that is uh, a huge red flag for undiagnosed sleep apnea and that can escalate over the years and be undiagnosed and that can begin to literally destroy your health. So I noticed I was doing that at 15 years old, at 25 years old. And I, I had always been a mouth breather as well. That's a, that's a red flag too, that there may be undiagnosed apnea or impending apnea in the future. I'm having troubles breathing here 
as I'm trying to tell the story. And, and it's such a complex situation. I don't know where the breathing issues are coming from, the chest breathing. But anyways, it's, I'm having a hard time. I run out of air. Anyways, so when I got these braces put on, my sleep issues got even worse. The insomnia got even worse. And you go to your family doctor. Family doctor doesn't know what to do, so they send you to psych. And psych immediately started misdiagnosing this as anxiety. My, in, my sleep issues were severe at 25 years old. And this continued. This catastrophic misdiagnosis continued. Psychiatry can, can, can take people's lives. Psychiatry can make all sorts of horrific misdiagnosis, right? And rare disease patients are often sent to psych long before they get diagno properly diagnosed, right? People with chronic diseases or rare diseases are often shoved off to psych and continually misdiagnosed for years until proper diagnosis is made, right? So no orthodontic, no orthodontist should be putting braces on anybody without first asking them if they're mouth breathing or assessing or asking questions about potential uh, sleep apnea, stopping breathing while you're uh, stopping breathing while you're asleep, your airway closing up in here.